guys there. I was just catching up on my Metropolis news. Today's top story is The Man of Steel. This was by far one of my most anticipated movies of the summer and I just couldn't wait to see it. The movie is Zack Snyder's retelling of Superman in a way that has never been done before. You see Krypton and its destruction with baby Kal-El and his parents Jor-El played by Russell Crowe and Lara Lorban. This opening sequence alone was just really powerful and gave me chills. Let me tell you, I think it was just absolutely amazing. I really had no idea what to expect when I was first watching this movie. I haven't really seen any of the previous incarnations of Superman except for maybe like Dean Cain or um, even <laughs> Superman Returns. I had really no idea what to expect from this movie. When where he is raised by Jonathan and Martha Kent, played by Kevin Costner and Diane Lane, you really see that there's just this struggle for him to be able to fit into this human world which is grounded in reality. You kind of see how the general public is supposed to, if he were to exist in this world like present time, how the general public would react to somebody like him and his presence and all that. He's having to hide who he is um, all his life and he doesn't really know where he came from because clearly he knows he's definitely different and as he is growing up you kind of start to see Clark, uh, Clark Kent change into this person who he's destined to become uh, through a couple of flashbacks which I found pretty cool and I like the way that they sort of had those flashbacks so it's not just like Batman Begins where you have sort of the section of him growing up and then he uh, gets older into adulthood. I would say right off the bat Henry Cavill plays one of the best interpretations of Clark Kent's Superman. I really liked his portrayal in the role and even when he eventually puts the suit on I was just like yeah he's Superman. Like, literally. I really can't picture anyone else to uh, play Superman at this point. Uh, him being the Man of Steel, I just, I loved it. Even Russell Crowe as Jor-El was really good. I wouldn't really expect anything less from him. I really liked uh, his character, and um, especially when he was giving guidance to Clark, and every time he was on screen, I just didn't want him to go away. He was just that amazing. Even Kevin Costner, who also plays the father figure, I was really surprised um, to see him um, as Pa Kent. And when I went to go see this movie with my dad for an early Father's Day outing, I just, you know, at one point I looked over and I just saw him. His eyes just like got all wide. As soon as he saw Kevin Costner on screen, I was like, yeah, he's a fan of him. And he just like couldn't wait to see him and you just had like a smile like cheek to cheek, it was really awesome. So I was really excited about that. And even though he didn't really have a big huge role in the movie, I wouldn't say I wasn't disappointed about that. I think what he did in the movie I thought it was really good. He was one of the few characters that I felt emotionally attached to. Diane Lane didn't even um, have that big of a role in the movie either. I think one of the scenes that stood out to me with her was when she was trying to calm down Clark as he was hiding in a closet at school. Um, they showed it sort of in, uh, I think, one of the first trailers. I kind of knew what to expect, like what was going on, like why he was hiding in there. I also liked that uh, she was sort of like trying to calm him down. He was like taking her advice, and learned how to um, sort of like calm himself down, control uh, his powers. Amy Adams is Lois Lane. First, I didn't know what to think. I mean, she's good in almost everything that she does. And she definitely portrayed this version of Lois Lane as more like a stronger character, sort of like doesn't take any crap from anybody, um, wants to do what she wants to do, and she's like this star reporter. So um, she definitely showed that, and um, uh, definitely a different interpretation than any other previous interpretations I've seen, like from either. Um, Kate Bosworth, Terry Hatcher. I didn't feel like her character was fully developed. It should have, and I really would have loved to see more of her on screen. This movie is obviously focused more on Clark Kent's Superman, so 
you were definitely expected to see more of him and like his story. So it's not about Lois Lane, it's about him. But there were some really cool scenes with both Superman and Lois Lane that were really awesome. And I really hope that uh, if they do make future films that their relationship is more like uh, fleshed out and um, see more of that. I think that'd be really awesome because it kind of felt like it was like oh suddenly like this attraction just like appeared out of nowhere. It was crazy. Finally, we have Michael Shannon who plays General Zod. I think he was really good um, in his portrayal of this character. He's known to play sort of like these evil characters, just like a generally bad guy. This one, you know, it was really cool uh, to see him in. Is he the best Superman baddie out there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, at first, no, I don't think so. I think he looked intimidating on screen, and at first he looked intimidating on screen, and I think it slowly started to go downhill from there, but it was not until um, there was like major fight scenes in the movie between Superman and Zod where his character starts to show his true colors and um, you just see like you do not want to mess with Zod. He's like going to take control, he's not just going to let his henchmen like, you know, take care of his business. For some of those minor characters that were in the movie, um, to name a few, I thought that they were okay. Lawrence Fishburne who plays Perry White, you know, I thought he was really cool, and especially like that one moment between him and Lois Lane with um, uh, the story that she was running about Superman, or she wanted to run about Superman. Can't say her name, I don't know how to say her name, but um, the chick that plays Fiora, I thought like, okay, I know that's Fiora, and I think she's just absolutely like intimidating like just uh when she like said things uh it was just really intense um but other times I just felt like I wanted to punch her in the face even though she was awesome I still just ugh, did not like her in a good way and since Zack Snyder is known for making visually overwhelming uh movies Man of Steel was definitely no exception it was just really um uh beautiful as far as like the visuals went. I really felt like I was in uh, the scenes that he shot and um, especially like the space scenes. I wish I saw this movie in IMAX. I was saying right off of that it would have been so cool to see it on just like an even like wider like screen um, and even Krypton. I had no idea what Krypton would look like but um, I feel like this interpretation of Krypton was really cool to look at and I was really surprised by some of the things going on so I was like whoa what the heck is this? It just made me feel like I was on a completely different world. Definitely wasn't Earth. The action scenes were also wonderfully done. Superman looked cool flying through the air. I just wanted to fly with him. I'm his cape blowing in the breeze and all that stuff so I thought it looked really cool. I also was kind of expecting a couple of slow-mo shots because uh, I know like in his previous movies he's always um, into making movies where he does like these um, intense action scenes and then all of a sudden goes into slow motion. It didn't really happen in this movie, which I feel like is a good thing. Uh, basically made me forget that I was, uh, that I had actually watched Superman Returns on TV a couple days ago, so seeing this movie was just made my life. Even Hans Zimmer's music, I just loved his score. I was so happy when he signed on. Uh, to do the score for this film. I think it fit perfectly. The music was just um, getting me really excited to see this film. I love the mix of the intense drums, which were really perfect for the action scenes when there was just intense moments going on. And the calmer melodies I thought were really cool too. He definitely knows how to show off the like balance, like the emotions uh, throughout the film. And I was engaged the entire time. I wish I was in Metropolis right now. I'm not going to spoil anything for those who haven't seen this movie yet, but if you know anything about the expanded DC universe, you know that there are definitely uh, some Easter eggs in this movie um, that you should look out for. I picked up a couple along the way, and when I did see the ones I did, I just got really excited. And I was like, please happen Justice League. It would be awesome, especially with this Superman, because it would be really awesome if they did that. Overall I would say this movie was super awesome and left me wanting more and hopefully we will get to see a sequel 
um, to this movie or even um, have Henry Cavill return for a future Justice League movie, as I said. I would recommend seeing this movie, whether you are a fan of Superman, um, the original movies or not. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Man of Steel. And did you have high expectations before seeing this movie or did you go in with an open mind? Not like this movie. Which Superman movie is your favorite? And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come make a week virtual Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.